Hi everybody, my name is Jesse O'Neill. I'm the newest member of the repair team here at Blues Angel Music. I've been a builder, repairman for a little over 25 years professionally. I actually got my start as a kid. Uh, and like so many, I started by tearing my own gear up, uh, trying to make it better. And then by the time I scrapped my fifth or sixth instrument, I realized that wood has grain and there's certain physical limitations that we just have to acknowledge uh, as we go. And then I started working on my friend's guitars and it kind of snowballed from there. I just love fixing instruments and uh, just moved back home here after 32 years and I'm so happy to be part of the family here. Cool. You said you've been doing this for 25 years and, and you started by you know, tearing your own stuff up. Uh, I've talked with some of the other luthiers here in the shop and, and you know some of them like working on orchestral stringed instruments and some people have a, uh, they really like working on fret jobs and that sort of thing. What's your favorite thing to do? I think like most luthiers, you know, we all enjoy doing our fret work because that's one of the aspects that a lot of guitar players uh, and well just stringed instruments players don't give a second thought to until they feel the difference of what a good fret job does. So we all take a good bit of pride in that. I also love doing electronics. I'm a bass player personally, so I like to grab all the basses that come in if I can. Uh, but, uh, you know, really, uh, the only thing I don't really enjoy doing as much is violins, and it's mostly just because I have these big bass player hands and it's hard for me to get down in there to do it. Uh, but anything's possible, and I do enjoy the challenge. Cool. And some folks might not know, but you do uh, you build instruments, and for instance, uh, this one that you're holding there. Indeed. Uh, tell us a little bit about, about that and about how you got into building instruments. Well, I got into building because I couldn't afford what I wanted, and uh, nobody was building anything close to what I wanted. And so I always had fantasies as a kid about all kinds of custom stuff that uh, were one of a kind. Uh, it started when I first saw Purple Rain, and Prince had the guitar that was what this is based off of, and it was so iconic to the image of the movie, to, uh, to everything, of Brian May's signature red special guitar. It's the same story, you know, it's so closely associated with him. Uh, I was really attracted to that. So I started building just really bizarre out there stuff, as you can see. This one particularly uh, started right after Prince died um, and it took me two years. Um, and I just wanted it to be about as over the top as I could possibly make it. So it's got plenty of strings on it and uh, purple lights. It's just kind of a hot rod that you'll never see anywhere uh, else. In fact, this one was autographed by The Revolution, the band that made the movie with him. And uh, I do have a whole lot of fun playing this. It gets a lot of attention. So the stuff you make, you, you don't just make to, to have as art. You, it's playing instruments. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's no point otherwise. I don't make glass case stuff. I always joke, my own personal instruments are designed to deflect Budweiser bottles. Very good. You know, they come out of the house. They play the shows with me. Cool. And uh, we do have a few of instruments here at the store for sale. That's Indeed. That right? Yes, that's right. That's so cool. Uh, so you you like doing fret work, as do do uh, it seems most luthiers. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you'd like to say uh, about uh, about your luthery work or, or anything in general? Well, let's bring your instruments in here. We try and get as much out of every guitar or, or mandolin, whatever it is that comes through the door, and get it as playing playable as possible. Uh, the idea is that uh, we would all, I think, agree, we, we try and set everything up to the degree that if it were our instrument and we had the gig with it that night, that we'd be able to pull it out of the case and play it ourselves. Well, very cool, Jesse. Thank you for your time. Yes, sir.